going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Diego Hanau. For you guys that don't know, I'm a photographer, videographer located here out of South Florida. Just wanna get it right out of the way. I know I'm super late, but happy holidays, happy new year. I hope you guys had an awesome time with friends and family, enjoyed your December, but second week of January. I know I'm kinda of late to jump on, but you know, second week of January, a lot of stuff's going on. Everything's right on truck, but there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So that's always a good thing. Today's topic, it's, it's gonna be a quick video, but I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, I, I just thought about this when I first started doing photos and we have done videos of, you know, tips and tricks and things that I've done, gear that I've used, how I do photos, things like that, or, you know, methods. Um, but one thing that we haven't really talked about is like, you know, how do you first start charging, you know, for your videos or for your photos? Mostly let's do just do photography because when I started off, I started doing just photos and, you know, building kind of like, um, how would you say building like your confidence to go ahead and you know charge somebody because the thing is once you start posting those photos and you know people start liking them like hey how much do you charge for a photo shoot you know how, how much do you charge just take some pic quick pictures maybe just some like headshots or anything like that um you know and, and you you have to realize that your time is definitely worth something you know like even though in the beginning you know if you have some friends some families you want to go ahead and take care of them do some photos go ahead do your thing you know what i'm saying you're first starting out but when you're finally at a level where you think, you know what, I can start making some cash and people, you get enough people asking you like, hey, how much can I, how much do you charge for these couple of shots? You need to take into consideration, like start off with a flat rate. Just be like, you know what, I can do one location, um, I don't know, let's say 100, 150 bucks, you know? And then you just pick how many photos you wanna edit. You know, for example, when I first started off, I was doing, I would just hook them up and let them pick some photos and I would edit them for them and that would be it. And that's just one method, you know, of making some extra cash. Another way, you know, then you start adding other things of, um, people are like, okay, cool. Well, um, what about this product? When well, I had to think about, okay, well, if I didn't take pictures of a product, maybe I need to bring lights. Maybe um, I need to bring the tripod and, you know, bring my other camera, maybe a side camera just for different angles or your lights, your strobes and things like that. And, you know, the price starts going up because you have to realize it's like you're investing in this gear, you know? Whether it's a $300 camera or a $2,000 camera, you're still investing in gear and you need to make your money back for it. You know, and, and, and that way also you make your money back, but also you start, you know, getting more things you want to get towards this hobby or, or towards this, you know, business that you're creating for yourself. And I feel like a lot of people, like, they, they don't realize that, you know, like the people that ask you like, oh, you know, I want to get, you know, these photos done. Why are you charging so expensive? You know, and it comes with the quality of photos you're going to get, like the edited work you're going to get, you know, like they don't, they don't see, you know, they don't see what's going on really, you know, behind the doors of, you know, on your computer, making sure you have a good computer that can handle the Lightroom, Photoshop, whatever software you're using you know, for raw photos that are heavy files and editing those photos and making them come out crisp or in Photoshop moving or adding things or whatever you do and how and how your, you know, your, your work style ethic is. But I, I feel like, you know, that, that you're, like I said, your time is worth something. And if you're gonna go ahead and do a photo shoot and you're, you're at that level where you feel confident enough to start charging, definitely go ahead and do so. Don't be afraid and, and you know, if somebody tells you, oh no, well, like, I don't know why you have to charge me. Don't be afraid to say no. Because in the end, those kind of people, when they say, oh, why are you charging me? They get a free job somewhere else and they see what they end up getting. They're not happy with the outcome. And I'm pretty sure they'll come back and knock on your door. And I'm talking from experience saying, hey, actually, I need you to go ahead and do this photo shoot for me. Yeah, I know you said you're gonna charge me that. That's fine, let's go ahead and take care of it. And in my mind, I'm like, didn't you just say you had somebody already doing your photos for you? You know, so it's like, you, you're gonna see that with time, it all comes together, um, but you can't be afraid to charge. You know, like that's just one thing like you need to, you know, get your money's worth because you're putting your hard work into it and it's something you enjoy doing. Might as well be rewarded for it too if you're gonna do it for someone else. You know, like here take, obviously you hook some people up, some friends, family, like I said before, but you know, get your money, do that, get your money. Another thing I would go ahead and say is once you start, you know, building clientele and you start working with companies or, you know, models or, you know, Instagram models or just people are maybe doing like a boutique brand or anything like that, they want to get their photos out too. What I do to make everything crystal clear, pull it old school, Microsoft Word or Notepad, whatever it is you got, type up like a little contract. Okay, listen, these are the photos we're going to go ahead and do. This is the shot list of what you asked me. These are the photos that you said you need. This is the amount of photos I'm gonna go ahead and edit. And you send that to them. 
you know, and you just have them reply with an agreed or, you know, yes, this is exactly whatever it is. So you have a documentation of, you know, you guys, you have like, pretty much you just have everything. So in case of anything, it's like, no, this is what I have. This is exactly what you told me you needed. And that's it, that's what I'm doing. You know, if they wanna go ahead and say, oh, let's go to this other location and then try to make you add more outfits or anything like that. Boom, okay, well, that's not what we talked about in the contracts. If you wanna go ahead and add a location, that's another price of, and then you can give your price. You know, if they wanna say, oh no, we wanna add more people or, you know, we wanna do a couple more outfits. Okay, well, that's not what we talked about. This is what we have, you know? Yeah, I mean, you gotta play with it too. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's a, client, if it's a returning client that you work with a lot and you think like, hey, you know, this person's giving me a lot of business, you know, hook them up, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just common sense when it comes to certain things. Um, but that's a big one. That contract really does work. And also when they are paying you something that I like um, and has worked for me and I still do it, is when I send them the contract, say, hey, you know, if you agree to everything that's on here, we're gonna move forward, go ahead and send me half, you know, whatever they're gonna pay you now. And then the other half, once I get there and I do the photo work, you know? That way it's like, you're not the day of, they're just like, oh, hey, yeah, by the way, we're not gonna do it anymore. What happened if you have another job and then just, you know, now you're missing out work from two places. So now you're just at home. You're like, mm, well, now what do I do? You took the day off from your other job. Plus you're not going to pay today for this job. You know, it's a waste of your time and their time. So might as well just lock that down. Um, that's another thing that, like I said, I, I constantly always do that with all my clients and I have, you know, everything saved and I have a file on my computer with all the invoices, you know, it's a way to be more organized as well. Um, and also something else that's also really, really helped me out is when you're sending your clients photos and they're reviewing them, put your watermark on them, put something on them so that way they can't just run off with your photos. Personal experience I had when I first started shooting, we were taking photos, they told me, hey, you know, this is gonna be like a good way for you to get out there. This was like, what, five, six years ago? They're like, it's a good way for you to get out there. You know, it's gonna get good exposure. We're gonna put all the photos on, on Instagram and we're gonna tag you and all that stuff. I'm like, okay, cool, definitely. So I'm like, so like, oh yeah, so you know, we're not gonna pay you anything, but we're gonna give you exposure. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not gonna lie, for one of my first photo shoots, they came out pretty fucking badass. And I was like really proud of myself. I was super stoked. And I emailed them all the photos. Like, hey, do me a favor, send me all the photos. Sure, not a problem. And then, you know, I sent them everything. And, you know, I was waiting for a response to get back which ones you wanted me to edit. So you can send it back to them. And then nothing. No response. Nothing. I'm like, okay, this is weird. I kept writing them. I even wrote, you know, the models that we took the photos with. Uh, the yacht company that we were, you know, the boat, the boat that we were on taking the photos, uh, the company of the product that we were shooting. I'm not going to name anybody or anything. I'm not doing that. It was five years ago. Um, but we did it and I got totally ignored. I'm like, what's going on? Next thing I know, I see, I start seeing the photos get posted on the internet, on accounts, and they're all edited, looking super banging. And I'm just like, and then somebody else is taking the full credit for it. My name is not tagged or anything. It's very upset. It was very sad. It brought me down a lot. I was like, dude, this sucks. Like, this is the kind of industry I'm going into. But like I said, it's you go into it, and, and these are steps that you know you have to take, and you're gonna learn. Like anything, like anything you do, there's ups and there's downs, and there's experiences you're gonna learn from to better yourself. You know, like hopefully by you guys watching this video, if you guys end up watching this video, this helps you guys out to avoid some of those mistakes that I did. But I mean, in the end, you're gonna have mistakes of your own and but it's only gonna make you a better uh, business person or a better photographer, you know, or a videographer, whatever it is you're gonna do. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just wasting things out there and it's 2020, so let's crush it this year. And hopefully everybody starts making some good cash or if you weren't making cash, any kind of cash, but at least, you know what I'm saying? You get a couple of, you know, advice. I didn't get this kind of advice when I first started doing photos, but you know, that that's, I think that's just the beauty of YouTube, you know, and, and, and you know, this platform really does help out the community of creators, photographers, videographers, whatever it is you do, you know? And, uh, you know, back then I wasn't, you know, into YouTube as much as I am now. So I wish, I guess I didn't do as much research um, about it. I kind of just went, balls to the wall and just started going at it. But you know, it was an experience and it was cool. And I still have those photos and I still look at them 
I'm like, damn, these photos are badass, you know? But that's another thing. Send your photos, put your watermark on them, so that way, if they even post them, boom, your name is just fat on there. No one, like, they can do whatever they want, <laughs> but you're gonna be covering that whole image. You know, just put it, like, obviously don't put it in, like a big giant block, black letters, or just you can't see the photo. You know, put it like, like in a gray, you know, and saturate a little bit so you can see through it, you know what I'm saying? But just always make sure, send photos with watermark and that way they can go ahead and see it, send the ones back, and then you edit them and they're like, oh my God, this photo looks sick. And now you send them the file work and like, oh my God, this photo looks way better. You know, boom, money. You know, I think that's awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's like a good start um, as far as that, um, you know, starting to make some cash. Don't be afraid to charge. You know what I'm saying? When you have that confidence and you're like, dude, my work is good. You know, and you have people telling you my work is good, or you even have people reaching out to you asking how much you charge. That's how you know you're doing something right. Because if nobody's asking you about business or how much you charge or anything like that, then obviously you're not there yet. But if they're asking you, then yeah, for sure. You know, like just be careful. Sometimes they tell you, yeah, let's just go ahead and collaborate. You know, like I'll market you and you know, you know, do some photos. We'll just cross platform marketing and stuff like that. And you're like, okay, cool. You know, just be careful when you do it and how you do it. You know, think about it, make sure you get to know the person or the company that you're doing it with. You know, just make sure it's fair. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. And everybody has different methods on how or what they do with their business or their photos. You know, like these are just methods that worked out for me. Um, but like I said, everybody else is different. People might be looking at my video and be like, Phew. Yeah, it has no idea what he's talking about, but this is what's worked for me in the market I'm in. And if it works, I'm gonna keep doing it and I have been doing it. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is a short video. I just want to say what's up guys. I'm still here, I'm starting to make more videos and kicking a lot of cool stuff coming. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely smash that like button if you like what you see. If you have any questions about the methods we talked about today, or if you want, you know, more in detail of what we spoke about, I may talk as much as you might need to understand, or you know, you kind of feel a little lost about it. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. I'll go ahead and touch more base on those topics. Um, and I'm way right field. My birthday was in December, and I did get a new guitar. Super stoked on that. It's gonna be a project guitar. I got it on OfferUp for $280. For you guys out there, musicians, I know this is about music. I mean, about videos and photos and all that good stuff, but music is still part of creation, you know? And music has been a huge thing for me, so I'm gonna talk about it in these videos too. And uh, yeah, I got the guitar, 280 bucks in Ibanez. Super sick, I couldn't believe the deal I got on it. Like I need to get rid of it. Super cool dude. Thank you so much if you watched this video because uh, it, it came out super badass. Like it came out, like I love the guitar. I got some new humbuckers that I'm gonna go ahead and put in for you guys that do know about music or get to play guitar. Change some new pickups. Gonna get the pickups from uh, Perfuse guitarist, Mark Holcomb. I already ordered them. They're already here. Just waiting to go ahead and put them into the guitar and do some things, Frankenstein it up. And then, uh, yeah. Guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.